I'm outside of Max, and I didn't want you guys to miss out on this super shit music that they play. Um, but Angie just fought. She just had her fourth fight ever, and this is her first fight fighting a man. Um, we had heard she was going to fight a beginner, like a Chinese guy, um, but this kid was from Sitpalek, who she fought. He's a little bit smaller than her, um, but definitely not the same experience level that the guy who made the fight said it was. Um, so not a good matchup, but she was incredibly tough, and I'm so proud of her. Uh, I was almost crying watching the fight because she just fucking stood in that fight. Um, she's got a few sore spots, like her cheek is really swollen, um, but she doesn't have any cuts, just gonna be kind of bruised, um, and she'll be able to come back to training after a little while, but probably take a couple of days to feel better. Um, but her heart is good, um, even though she lost, she's smiling backstage. There's a lot of cussing going on from the promoter, uh, because that kid was not who they said he was gonna be. Um, but I think that even though it's an incredibly difficult experience for Angie, um, I think ultimately it's a really good experience because of who she is. Um, she's just so fucking tough. Uh, so that is my update after watching Angie and being completely inspired. Um, I'll be writing a blog post later. This is very interesting that Max Muay Thai no longer allows women to fight here. I don't know, it's weird to say no longer because really they only did it like once one time when I was here. Um, so they don't allow women to fight here, but they uh, have a Katoi fight. So Angie is not technically a woman. Um, she's not super a man either. So uh, it's interesting that they had that fight here. So I'll be writing about that um, and just updating he knew uh, on how the fight went. So I'll go talk to him and talk to you guys later. Oh, my God.